And what we see is that the Department of OCP is unevenly and unfairly um, executing our laws in this state, and that's why I put this bill in and it was brought to me. The Veterans and Legal Affairs Committee spent six hours asking questions and debating a bill brought by Representative Boyer seeking to change the requirement that each individual serving of cannabis edibles be stamped with a universal symbol. To require a universal symbol stamped on every serving of an edible is simply the stigma. And it's you know, a result of a hundred years of propaganda. The Maine Cannabis Union feels that the best way to protect the public, especially consumers, patients and children in those households is education. In the end, the committee amended the bill to only drop the individual labeling requirement for gummies with support from the main office of cannabis policy. Well, we're open to compromise and we understand that, uh, that, that individually marking and having it be legible on gummies has been problematic for a number of manufacturers. One complaint that was heard multiple times throughout the legislative process for this bill is what some have said is the unequal and subjective application of rules for business owners. That's why Representative Boyer started a petition to fire the director of Maine's Office of Cannabis Policy. Because uh, he's, he's not for Maine, all right? He's, he's hurting Maine businesses. He, making this arbitrary decisions, interpreting the law to, to crack down on main small businesses and to roll out the red carpet for big marijuana from out of state to come in here. Uh, so he has done nothing to help Maine's cannabis industry. Mm -hmm. And in fact, he's, he's hurt. The bill will now receive a full vote of the House and Senate. At the State House, I'm Cora Bouchard for ABC7 and Fox 22 News.